yeah, bro, I had forgot to make the payment. Just paid it. So we're back on. Yo. Hey, hey, hey. Right, where you at? Just ahead of Kingman. Mm, oh, you left me behind. No, I'm still, still here. Been, par been parked. <clears throat> okay, so I'm getting one from here, Kingman to Texas. Now it shows. <laughs> yeah, but there's no loads to Texas. Problem. Ah, shit, there's still nothing? Yeah, how about something in Albuquerque? Or New Mexico or something like that? Switch station. I'm gonna go to Hallbrook. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teleport to Hallbrook and I'll start from there and see if they have anything over there. Or Flagstaff. There's there's uh, Flagstaff's before that, no? Uh, I think. Oh, I'll go to Flagstaff. Yeah, I'll meet you in Flagstaff. Anything, I'll just drive with you that way I can unlock all that shit. But you should have something. I mean, if, of all the truckloads, I mean, nothing. Yeah, there's no lo loads you going that way. I don't know for some reason. I'll check right here though. None of them. Let's just roll. I'll just go with you. That way I can unlock everything. Where are you at right now? Same place. Come in.
One thing I want to do is get a lot of XP. I had a mod, but it doesn't work in your server. For some reason. What do you think it's the mod? It doesn't <coughs> work in any server. It's only for your, when you're playing by yourself. But you take the mod off, and I will leave your experience, and I will leave the money on there. I think that's where I fucked up, dude. That's why I lost money, because I didn't do that. What you mean? You used it, and then it took all the money away? Something like that, yeah. Something might have, I don't know, I had like almost 5 mil, and I only have 3.3 .3 million. Oh, that could, no, nah, that's not it. You still got a shitload of money. I got 2.8, man. But I got a shitload of credit because I have so many businesses that are, you know, open right now. Yeah, I, I only have two shops. I need, to, I need to find a third one and then a fourth one and keep moving from there. I think I got, I think I have like 40 something shops and I have like 60 drivers and shit. Holy shit. How much you making a day with those guys? Like, I haven't been able to get over four million because every, I mean, I, I, I make money and then I fucking waste it repairing my shit. Oh, fuck. I like the interior of your truck, man. I'm trying to get one like that. You saw my interior? Where, where'd you see the interior? That's a picture on Discord. Oh. Where that came from. <laughs> Go straight. Is that a Kenworth? Yes, sir. Hell yeah. You got the the top one, the unlocked one, huh? The best one, the nine hundred or some shit? Oh my bad, no, no, I have a Peters build. Oh shit, nice. Yeah, Kenworth is garbage for me. <laughs> Did I get on the highway or what? Where are you at? <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> get on the highway. <laughs> Tori's Holbrook. Don't get scared when you see my truck though right now. Oh, fuck. I sent you a uh, link to my uh, YouTube channel. Alright, I'll check it out. I'm transmitting I'm transmitting live so you can see my interior. Page Albuquerque, yeah. Page, it... Well, Page is actually up north, way to the top of Arizona.
the one or the green one? Oh, there you go. I'm in the, I'm in the oh, black shit. one. Did you see me? Did you see it? Fucking three of them. Three low boys, man. That shit's hacked. You can't get three low boys. <laughs> and it pays me triple the amount. That's why it's 700000 That's crazy. Yeah, you ain't got no box, huh? Nah. Yeah, you like, you 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 flying like butter, man. <laughs> this thing is heavy as hell. I got stuck two times trying to go up a hill. How much weight is that? Like a hundred thousand pounds? Let me check. Crash, try to check. A hundred and oh, what are you doing? A hundred and fifth, a hundred and eighteen point five. That's crazy. Never mind. I'll find a new route. I lost control when I was trying to hit that fucking F six. Smooth sailing right now, bro. All right. I've been driving like 40 something the whole fucking trip from Washington. <laughs> Fuck, you can't get to 60 or 80. Right now, I'm doing 25. Right now, I'm Damn, actually. That's... Oh, it's slowing down. Traffic. Which way should? Which way did it ball go, George? You're just going straight, right? Yeah. Let me know when you turn. Yeah, buddy. Precision mouse control right there. 
gotta get a wheel, bro. It's so much better. It must feel way better. But honestly, I don't think anything's more precise than a mouse. Nah. My thing, my 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 bus, uh, you know, my truck is going steady. Like it, will, it will hold steady. Straight. It fucks up when I fuck it up. You know, like move my fucking mouse like all crazy or something. You know. Continue going straight. Yep, going straight. We're gonna go to Albuquerque. Then to Kumari, Amarillo. And so on and so forth. Do you have to stop at the weight station? Uh, I, I already, I already bribed them. They don't stop me. <laughs> I got greens. Still no trips that way? Nothing's coming up? We're in Gallup now? Nothing here? Yeah, I'm gonna stop right here and check and see if anything's coming up next. Alright. Why, do you, why is it though? Like, what? Can you send me a screenshot of that or what it, what it is that you're searching for? Do you have it filtered by the place that you're at right now or something? Dude, grab that right there. Grab... G grab New Mexico or Artesia. There's one to Carlsbad too, right? Yeah, let me see. Let me see. I just picked. 
picked one. Give me a second. Yeah, grab one to um... grab the Carlsbad one. Because that takes us to a route, a route that I haven't gone through. It takes us through Roswell and then Carlsbad and then down towards a place I haven't gone to. So that's pretty cool. Oh, never mind. That's the wrong way. No, there's, mm. there's one right there that says, uh, it's on the second page, on the middle page. It says sawdust panels, 39,000 pounds um, from Gallup to Carlsbad. Yep. I'm gonna pick that one up. Cool. Let's go. You didn't see me drive the other way, right? Nah, cuz I was I'm in I'm in the menu. Wow, what happened? As long as there's no cops. Oh, you were trying to, you know, flip the bitch right there? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I was, I, you know how you went to go buy the game, the, the DLC and stuff? And then you're like, you ain't gonna play no more? And I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean? And then I look at my modem, and it has a red light on it. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm disconnected. And then I tried to log on, and then it said, you have a major payment. Your your service is suspended. I was like, fuck. <laughs> that shit happened to me too, dude. Feels good when you can pay that bitch right quick. <laughs> When, when when it feels good, like when it's just like something you forgot to do, it's something that like that you weren't able to do. That feels fucking fucked up. Yeah. When I was doing uh, Comcast and um, Bright House over there, like here, but for customers over there, man, they used to hit me up a lot. Like, I oh, had I I got this late charge. I I need that taken off. I I can't pay no late charge. No, I don't know. Like, what do you mean? You paid month for month late, and every month you're calling in and asking for this credit, man. God damn. <laughs> Is gold expensive in Mexico, like the cadenas and stuff? Depends if it's a five finger discount or not. <laughs> this guy five finger discount. Yeah, right. If you steal shit in Mexico, I'm pretty sure they'll probably chop your fingers off. No, they don't. Got that single Aloha cartel right there where you're at, bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I got picked up by them on Saturday. They, they, they got me and shit. They're like, come on, let's roll. Fuck that, bro. That shit's fucking dangerous. <laughs> Not if you didn't do shit. Come on. These guys are cool as fuck, bro. They picked me up. They're like, 
we we got a report that there's somebody slanging right here. I was like, oh hell no, nah. I'm not slanging. I'm consuming. And then I and then but it wasn't bought from them, right? So it's it's bad and shit. So they're like, where'd you get it from? And I'm like, so this guy brings it to me from like he's a truck driver, and he brings him from like the road. You know, I don't know where the fuck he gets it from. Like probably down down you know another town or something. You know. And they're like, but you know that that's you to be done. They're like, oh, I didn't know. I honestly didn't know shit. Like, cause I've been living in Monterey forever, blah, blah, blah you know. Let, let, ground, let's go, take, bring him with you. Like, I was like, ah, shit. And they handcuffed me and put me in the back of the truck. And then they were all cool and shit. They just, they just chilling with me and shit, like taking me everywhere and stuff, you know, their little operations. Like, they had to, like, it's a small town. So every two, three hours, the military goes by on the highway and they get alerted like fucking 10, 15 minutes before they show up, like when they're leaving the base or something like that. And then they're like, oh, uh, yeah, we got the the military coming. Like, and everybody's like, okay, thanks. And everybody just evacuates, bro. Every single time they were like, they go to the room, get me like, hey, get up, let's go. Put me in the truck. And we're rolling out to the fields, man, just waiting for them to pass by. shitting yourself when they picked me up i was high as fuck bro i was like clowning and shit but they were on a mission bro they were like on a big mission and shit they were trying to find somebody that was distributing there or something because they're like vamos ir vamos ir a buscar lo demás vamos a buscar nos dijeron que por acá esta calle like they're talking about like going other streets and like all these houses and they did they were like just Everywhere, and they kind of ignored me and shit. You know, they didn't put me in the backpack. They put me in the middle of, of the SUV in the back seat, the middle seat basically. And then the two extra Sicarios grabbed the chick that I was with, and then like, but the chick is known in the town, you know. So I think she kind of like put put you know little spat spat a little rumors around on me and shit, you know. Um, but they brought her too, and she was just crying and shit, and I was high as fuck. I was like, ooh. And they're like, we went out to like the outskirts of the city when they first picked me up and they were looking for somebody. And I was like, just looking out the window and shit. I was like, I am the alien. There's somebody over there by those trees. I was trying to help him out and shit. Oh, fuck. And then they tried to scare me a few times and shit, you know? Oh, shit, you're ready? Let's go. Or what they do, or what they do to scare you, or just fuck around with you. They're like, ay, gordito, gordito. Ahorita vas a ver. <laughs> you're like, you're all high, you're just like, ah, whatever. <laughs> like, no, I would like, this is how I would answer them. I'll be like, for what? Pa qué? Que hice o qué? They're like, como que, they're like, como que, que hiciste? I'm like, yeah, ¿qué, qué, qué hice? I mean, I just chill. I mean, I mean, yo estoy, yo estoy, yo estoy bien. O sea, no creo que, no creo que me vayan a hacer algo. O sea, sabe, sabe, saben que no hice nada. O sea, ustedes saben que no hice nada. Yo no, nada. Ah, ahorita vamos a ver, ahorita vamos a ver. ¿Cómo andan, me decían? Y yo de qué? Pues triste, le decía. ¿Y eso? Pues es que aquí ando. De la y, ay, ay. ¿Para qué te metes en esta bronca? Pues es que no sé ni lo que hice. And then I and then I was like, my hands started hurting. I was like, can you guys flip the cuffs to the front, please? <laughs> and they're like, ahorita le preguntamos al jefe. <laughs> jefe, que, que se dice que le movemos la esposa por frente. And then I'm like, sí, está bien. And they put it to the front. And we're just chilling, bro. After that, we're just chilling. They brought me, so like, you, you need anything? I was like, no te cigarros? No. I was like, Okay, you guys got my wallet, right? There's like 400 pesos in there. You guys can have it. Can you guys just get me some cigarettes from there and that's it? And they're like, nah, nah, nah. Uh, we'll get you, a, we'll find you a cigarette right now. Hold up. And your wallet's right there. Your money's right there. When you when you leave, if you leave, again, trying to scare me, it'll be right there. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. You guys can take it, though. You guys can go buy stuff at the OXO and buy me some cigarettes if you guys want, though.
And they were like clouding too, like, hey, you were gonna smash her or what? You're gonna smash right now? You're, you're, you're gonna smash her what? <laughs> and I was like, well, I was trying to. And I can tell you guys picked me up. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, bro. Two nights, two days. That was with them one night, two days. Nah, see, since I had I had just rented that house that I was that they picked me up from, and it wasn't my house. I mean, the house was already somebody was living there, right? It was a guy that I knew, and it's next to a cantina, right? So there's a but, and it is a cantina, cantina, you know, like where the where the poor people go drink your shit, and and the viejitos. So there's a lot of there's a lot, you know, meth is getting around everywhere, you know, in every fucking place now, so. There's a few people that are like indigenous or not indigenous, but they look indigenous, but they're like just bums and shit. You know, they're just stuck on that shit. So there was a lot of movement around in that 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 corner. And then I I, I'm, I'm, I just move in there. I'm making money. So um, I had a bunch of bitches over, you know, a bunch of little crackheads and shit. Oh, and they wanted to know where you were getting the money from. Yeah, they're just hitting it up. They're just trying to see, like, they they just trying to investigate and shit. The thing is that they found, you know, drugs on me that were not bought from them, you know? Yeah, and they want to figure out where, who you got it from. Exactly. And if I was selling it, most of all, you know? But they, they knew real quick that I wasn't selling it. They could see my setup, you know, that I had there working and shit. I had just finished the fucking shift of, you know, I had some Colombian chicks working. So I had just said like good goodbye to them on Zoom and everything. Five minutes later, they busted in. I should have been hilarious. They would have got there 10, 15 minutes earlier. <laughs> my workers, my and like for real, like my workers couldn't work if I like they worked because I opened up the campaign for them every morning and I was with them on Zoom every day, like answering their questions and helping them out virtually. So for two days, they didn't work. They were like, oh, we don't know what happened to you, Mario. Like, we were scared. Like, we're like, ah, oh, shit, this guy fucking flaked on us. And I was like, nah, me levantaron los sicarios and shit. Like, como? <laughs> I like, hey, chill, hey, they're good, man. They give me their business card and everything. They're like, if you need anything, hit this number up. We got you. But don't buy for nobody else. If you need something, just hit this number. I'm like, all right, cool, appreciate it. I'm telling you, you're a new supplier now. Well, I don't live there anymore. That was October of not this year. That just passed the one a year and a year and uh what three months now? Yeah. Slow down. Oh but man, it's no joke, bro. Especially I in Mexico over here, it's a little different. But over there, it's worse, man. I just I just blasted all that shit on fucking. YouTube, bro. Ah, fuck it. Was well, that gay, right? If we can get fuck. <laughs> but yeah, so it's like you said. What you said right now, like it's worse over here than over what? Over here in the the U.S. It's worse over there? Why? Keep left. Who do you got to be watching? They got own guns over there, no? Keep left. That we don't have guns over here? You do, but it's illegal to have one if you want one, but you can get it illegal is what I'm saying. But it's hard, right? I mean, it's not hard. You just nobody, nobody has one. You know, you're not. Yeah, it, it is illegal. Nobody can. Nobody but uh, military and police can have guns only. Yeah. Hey, what happens if you get caught? How much time do you get? Probably nothing. Cause you probably just gotta pay or something. Keep left. But it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be like 50k or something, pesos. 
fuck. They just take it from me and be like, oh, you gotta pay 50 pesos, 50k pesos, huh? Yeah, that's about $25,000. No, $2,500. Like anything that you do here, you, you you can fix, you know. Like as long as people don't find it out, as long as it the the news doesn't get big. If if everybody found out already, like they they you you're, you're shit at luck. How many times do I have to tell you to slow down? Yeah. Like you can get caught stealing, like red-handed, and if it's a store that they know has no cameras and all this shit. They'll tell like you. You literally just tell them, "Hey, what's up, man? I got you." Like you're just, you know, twenty stacks. Let's go. And they'll they'll do it, you know. Oh yeah, easily, man. Buy them out. Uh, there's congestion on the right side when you're coming up. I, I was just like two inches ahead of it when you said it. But I mean, it's it's crazy, man. COVID, COVID came and everything. You know, the government said like nobody goes out. There's no more parties, nothing. You know, everybody's gonna be quarantined. Nobody, nobody listened, bro. Nobody. And they're like, ah, por un miedo, huh? Yep. And then, like, practically every little town has somebody in charge of the cicadas, right? So they grabbed the first motherfucker that they saw one day. They butt stripped him naked and shit. Paddle whipped his ass down the fucking main, the main block, recording his ass, and they put it on all the groups in it so everybody could see. And they're like, if you guys don't fucking listen, this is gonna happen to you. So then everybody stayed in home now. Like fuck that, I'm not going out no more. <laughs> they literally like. Had him walking in front of the vehicle, and the vehicle's like running, and and and, and the guy is like, Yahweh, Yahweh, no mames, like holding his nuts and shit, so they don't see, like nobody can see him and shit. And then um, two hands, you know, put, uh, you know, covering his nuts basically. And then and then there's another guy walking behind him with the paddle, like, ha, <laughs> ha, <laughs> that boy like, yeah, yeah, ya no va a salir, está quedando en casa, va a hacer caso. <laughs> and, and even the, even when I was I was riding with those guys, man, they pulled up to his fucking this red truck, right? They sucked like they had me like blindfolded. It was like the second day already. And then we left the house because the military were coming towards it, you know, like they're gonna be near. So they re evacuate. And on the way out, they're like, Yeah, well, I took a roja. And whoo, put right, pull up right next to it. They brought, dropped on the window in the front, the passenger, because it was on the on his right. And he just like looked over, like, si te veo patinando la troca otra vez como anoche, te la voy a quitar. Es todo lo que te voy a decir. Like, ah, sí, disculpe, señor. No, no se preocupe, no se preocupe. Ya todo, todo bien, y bueno, tranquilo. Okay, ya te dije, cabrón, eh, una, una más. And, and and for me, that's cool as fuck, you know? They're telling you, stop fucking around. Like, they're not asking you fucking to do, like, some out of the ordinary. They're just trying to, they're just telling you to fucking be civil about shit, you know? Don't be going, getting drunk, and then doing burnouts and shit. They're telling you, like, just fucking go drink. It's all right. Just don't be fucking making a scene. They, they've never, I've never heard of them fucking up with somebody that, you know, didn't do something stupid. Damn, I just wrecked. I lost connection, bro. Coming back. So you didn't hear the whole story. Oh my. You didn't hear that whole story then? Uh, not for like, for like, well, yeah, when I did. I only, I only disconnected for like two minutes. Yeah, they never, they never, they never fuck with anybody that 
doesn't do something stupid to fuck with them. And I see it this way. If you're doing something illegal, you know, the way that I see it, any illegal business is theirs. So if you're doing something illegal and you didn't, they don't know about it, then you fucking up because you're fucking stepping on their on their you know toes, you know. Yeah. Well, I have a, I got a cousin, bro. His um, his dad in the Mexico, and he had a potato farm or some shit like that over there, and that they said that if you don't sell us the farm, we're gonna take it from you. So, I mean, I don't. Seems like any business you try to make over there, they don't, they don't want you to do it, you know. Turn left. Ah, but you're talking about Michoacan. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm talking about Sinaloa. Sinaloa people are cool as fuck. Yeah, every area is different, basically, but yeah. So I think they cashed them out, 10 million pesos. So, so Sinaloa, Sinaloa, check it out. I mean, if you look at it strategically in the map, Sinaloa is on the Pacific, is on the Pacific coast, you know, and and it's it's not all the way on the Pacific coast because you still got Baja, you know. Um, but you have the Pacific coast of Sinaloa. It's not on the border, you know. It's not on the it's not on the frontera, and, and it's not down south either, and it's not central. It's like. Nobody's gonna invade it. There's no need to. Going too fast. Right, exactly, yeah. So so this zone is is tranqui, you know, it's nobody nobody's gonna come take over this zone. Like it's it's okay. You're going to hit something. Now Michoacan is central. The like the the routes go through there, you know, when it's coming down from Guatemala and shit, you know. Yeah, my dad's always like, come to Michoacan. I'm like, man, I'm good. Keep yes, the Michoacan is, is 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 hot hot land, you know, like the people want that land. Any any city also in 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 the in the border, same thing. Slow down. It's it's hot zone, you know. There's it's it's a crossing. They make tunnels. They make all this shit. So all of that shit is fucking hot too. And then anything on the on, on the Gulf Coast is just shorter routes. It's also a route, you know, the, the, the Gulf. So all that shit, it, it's also the main routes, the main routes. And then it extends out to Michoacan. And then way the fuck over here, it's it's too much. There are routes, but it's it's more investment, you know, because it's, it's further. Further, like, trying to circle out. So nobody comes over here and fucks this place up. There's always going to be a problem when it's the disputed area because their people are getting killed. The other guy's people are getting killed. And then they see a civilian. They don't know if that guy's a nobody or somebody. So they might kill innocent people, you know, thinking that it's it's somebody of the other people, you know. And, and that's when all this shit starts. But that never happened in Sinaloa. That's that's what I see too. That shit happens a lot. So yeah, like if you if you come down to Mexico, you want to stay on the, on this side on the Pacific coast. Yeah. But, I, I was like, come over here. I'm like, man, I'm good. I'll pass. But look, I, I I lived out on uh, Monterrey. I lived over there for fucking nine years. Monterrey is two and a half hours from the border. But all the evil was, uh, was, you know, on the border. I never, never encountered anything in Monterrey in the whole time that I was there. And I was scared when I went out there, man. I, I was like, man, shit, I fucked up. I don't know why the fuck I came over here. It was 2013 when I went out there. That shit was like, it was when everybody was getting killed and shit. It was worse back then, huh? Hell yeah, they, the Casino Royale incident had, had just happened like two, three months before that. You like, I, I went out there like two, three months after the Casino Royale, and the Casino Royale was basically, you see the footage on YouTube and everything, 
if you put it on on YouTube, like Casino Royale, and basically it's the Sicarios went into the uh, Casino Royale, and at the entrance, they started shooting into the air to the ceiling, and then they poured gasoline in the entrance and lit it on fire, trying to scare the people and trying to scare the owner, so that he, you know, they would pay money, I guess, you know. Um, and everybody got scared and ran into the casino and that shit filled up with smoke and then the owners didn't have the safety precautions like the, the exit doors emergency exit were all sealed off so a bunch of people died but even then even though it was done like that the Sicario's intentions weren't to kill all those people They went in there shooting into the air and then, you know, they lit the thing on fire thinking everybody's going to just go out the bag, you know? But they er, nobody burnt. Everybody asphyxiated. And then that was that was the last thing that happened in Monterey. But I, 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 I was really stupid back then. I went out there, you know... Looking for work and shit, I didn't even think about that shit until I got there. But like, ¿Dónde eres? Like, oh, like, and then they started telling me everything that was happening. I was like, shit, let me go to that fucking get my new credential and shit. Let me, let me, let me go, like, my new identification. Take that Sinaloa, put Monterrey on here, please. Thank you. <laughs> and then every time I talked, I was talking in English and shit. Fuck that. You, you talk Spanish over there, like it's like my salir el acento de Sinaloa. Speak English, like yeah, man. I don't know Spanish. I'm sorry. I don't know. What, I don't understand what you're saying. Yep, and because it is Monterey is a, like the third largest city, and it's only two and a half hours away from the border. It does have a lot of deportees there, you know. Yeah. But again, the big, like, after that, like, the whole concentration was over in Reynosa. Reynosa, Matamoros, and that's Loreto and and Juarez, I think. Oh, okay. McAllen. McAllen, uh, what else? Brownsville. Eagle Pass. Del Rio, and then you have what's on the other side? I think La, uh, Loretto. What's on the other side of Juarez? Like on the U.S. side? Caution! You are exceeding the speed limit. Mm, what do you mean, Mars? Like Juarez is on on Mexico side. On the U.S. side, what city is on that side? Like Nogales has Nogales. I thought you were saying Mars, bro. I was like, I don't know what, Pluto? <laughs> uh -huh. No, um... Go fuck, straight. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any no, big... I think... I, have to tell you to I think Juarez is still, is still with Texas, I think. Because, see, Juarez is in the, in the state of uh, Chihuahua here in Mexico and then there's like a bunch of states over here that cover the border and in in the states it's only like the big cities in the states it's just those big states that have borders over here is just Texas I don't know any big city in New Mexico I know it touches Mexico but I don't know anything going on in New Mexico um, Arizona has some places and then Cali has TJ you know Talking about like the borderline, right? We can enter the United States from. Yeah, like where the uh, major, major uh, crossways are, you know. Yeah. Now where you at? I'm way ahead, bro. I think I left you. God damn. 
Oh, we're almost finished with this 40 something out route. Hour route, man. I still got 13 hours, but that's that's a normal route now. Yeah. I'm uh, 25 minutes away from my destination. Yes, yeah, so I'm going. I'm going to um, Belmont. Like it's the city next to uh, Houston. That's your destination, Belmont. Yeah. Slow down. Alright. I know Texas is like real good because I that's that's like where my solar sales have mostly focused in for the last two years. Now I'm doing Cali. Do you even listen to me? Cali's good too, man. I've been thinking about actually moving either to Texas or to Arizona because I'm getting tired of where I'm at. So Texas, Texas is hard, man. Um, I would rather go to Arizona. Yeah, I'll look more into it, but but stay out of Cali, bro. Cali is fucking go straight. It's expensive as fuck. But dude, Cali dog shit. I would not go there. Kelly still trying to be their their own country yet? Or no? Nah. Texas is. The Republic of Texas. Slow down. I prefer Republican fucking states, bro. All these Democrat states are all fucked. I used to think Democrat Democratic parties were better and shit when I was younger and I was living out there. Cause just how I was, like I never actually did any research on it. Just, just from what, what was imprinted on me, you know. But I don't know. It turned out real fucking bad with all these like giving people options and shit. I don't think people can make their own decisions. I think there's got to be, you know, really strong guidance and shit. You know. It just the problem is that the guidance is just not honest sometimes. They're not, man. Like, if we had leadership or, you know, a government that really, really fucking, you know, their mindset was on making the, the society better, like, for real, for real, <laughs> we'd, be, we'd be so much far off, you know? There's, there's so much potential, it's just that it's, it's wasted and shit. They want socialism now. What is they socialism? They don't want capitalism. Fucking everything does. What is socialism? What's up? What is socialism? Yeah. What is it though? What is what is? I don't know what socialism is. Tippy towing, make sure you don't offend anybody, stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. You're 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 more controlled. Like basically like the shit you were telling me about and and uh cargo is basically like oh you can't come outside and they're they're hitting you with the fucking you know what I mean? Shit like that. Keep left and then turn left. Crazy. you want that? 
makes no sense. No sense. And then what's a republic? It's just a party, basically. But republic is basically capitalist, right? Capitalist is like business, make business, m money, and just power and shit, right? Have you heard of that theory about about how, how they grab like a five rats and they put them in a you know like the lab and shit and then I can't remember how it goes exactly but it's all about like they, they put a rope or something on there and then every time one of the rats climbed up the fucking or, or I think they yeah so it was like a hole and every time a rat tried to climb up and out they would like spray them down right and then everybody would see, all the other rats would see, like, ten rats, and then one would go up, and then they would do that. And then, after that one got hit, they would swap it out with another one. And then it happened again. Well, eventually, all these rats were replaced. And none of the ones that were there were the original ones. And, and you know, none of those had ever been sprayed. But they all knew better than to go up. They were more. They were more smart than the other ones. It, it, it was more. It was more like it was. It, it, it. They know there's a stupid rule, but they don't know why. They've just been doing it all their lives. So it's gener generation. It's like a generationized. Like if you think about it, you grow up knowing that when you're five you gotta go to school you gotta start you know your first grade or kindergarten I don't know what the fuck it is and that's just you're born and you practically know that it's part of your society now and that's been generalized generationized because it has been done for so many generations that that's how it is and you go to school, and then what? Are, what are people? What are they actually teaching you there? You know, like since first grade, what do they actually fucking teach you? Like, why is Japan so much more advanced and shit? You know, why is uh you know all like there's a bunch of shit that that they say that society it, it just got made out westernized because of so much shit that just went over one generation to another and another, and it just it just flows now. You know. That, we don't even remember why we do it, just do it. Exactly. The problem too with a lot of the school systems over here too, they're all their fucking educational shit's all outdated. But they made that shit so people don't become they don't they don't think. They don't want them to think them to be workers. They don't want them to become financial free. Rich, rich dad, poor dad. Right, like, like rich, rich dad, poor dad. Ah, that guy's a hoax, bro. What about what he says, though? Yeah, I mean it makes sense, bro. But half these guys, all they, they only, the only way, the only reason they make money is off their fucking courses and shit and the shit they sell. That's how they get rich, hella rich. Uh, I mean they do. A lot of people do get rich in real estate, but I mean only a certain percentage can afford to even get into real estate. That shit's a thing. Like nowadays, they make it even more difficult. You know, even people with good credit and shit, they're not even getting approved anymore. And the interest rates right now are ridiculous, bro. And the houses have like doubled 
price already. Yeah, so people who buy houses, you know, when they were supposed to buy them, did a good job, right? Right. So if you try to get in it now, it's kind of too late. Oh yeah, it is too late. But for like example, like myself, you mentioned the courses. I did the courses. That was a high ticket closing. That shit works, bro. It really fucking works. Yeah, some of them work, not all of them. It just depends on who's teaching you, you know? Because, I mean, dude, there's a lot of bunch of people that are on, like, TikTok and shit to try to show off all this shit, like, they'll rent Lambos and stuff, like, oh, I'll show you how to make this much, or blah, 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 you know? A lot of them are just bullshitters. Turn left. The the secret to all of this, the secret to all of this is marketing, bro. And that's where where people don't fucking do it right. Why did Grant Cardone go fucking? He's been doing what he does fucking his entire life. Why did he just blow up five years until now? Marketing. That's it. A product, it doesn't sell because it's a good product or because because it's the best product on the market or because it's the cheapest product on the market. It doesn't sell because of that. It's, it sells because it's the most known product on the market. If you watch his videos too, you notice that he targets every um, race differently. Like there was one where he was, he was targeting like you know, like, uh, black males, you know, basically that have money and stuff, like, he made videos of like, oh, buy the G, or don't buy the G-Wagon, buy this, this, and that, don't buy the jewelry, blah, 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 and then he made another one of, like, people that are, like, um, rednecks, you know, they like to wear the cowboy and shit like that, he made another ad targeting them, so he makes different separate ads that yeah. target each other person. Fucking smart. That's why when when people say like oh they they're a hoax they're they're bullshit they're not they're rich. Yeah no I mean yeah they make they make money off that shit because they they sell a dream to some somebody wants that what they have so they'll buy it off emotion. Problem is bro most of the shit that they teach you they're not gonna teach you everything they're not gonna show you how to actually do the shit if that makes sense. So I did it myself. I I honestly did it myself, and I can tell you, it wasn't a lack of them telling me how to do it. It wasn't. I didn't. I didn't. You know, have success because of, because of them. I didn't. I didn't have success because of myself. I didn't go all in on that. You know, I was still doing solo. I was doing that. Uh, I wasn't calling my leads. I wasn't making content. You know, is uh, you can't have half-ass it. Either you're all in or you're not. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I got a, I got a call. I got a, um, a low to Junction, Texas. Is that where you're going? No, I'm going to Belmont, but Junction is on my route. All right, cool. Dang, you're still way the fuck up there. Look where I'm at now. Did you pass me yet or no? Man, check the map. Check the map. Oh, fuck, man. You fucking passed me. Yeah, I don't know what you've been doing. I'm gonna get a different load. I'm gonna get closer. I think you should go to Junction and try to get something in Houston. Grab a load and get closer. Cause I still got eight hours of driving, bro. So I got I got a lead, and I'm gonna go do an estimate on Sunday.
So when you get the lead, what do you do with it? I call them, they don't answer, I text them, if they don't answer, I email them. Let's say they answer, what do you say? I just say, hey Julia, I just seen your email. Um, I see that you're interested in Lance and um, fucking am messing up right now, but um, basically I say, hey, I see that you're interested in um, discussing about, you know, changing the, fr uh, the front yard and the backyard to, you know, low maintenance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, do you have time, you know, sometime either this weekend or next week where we can, you know, meet up and we can, you know, figure out what you want to do with your front yard? So why do you move it out way so far? Like, what do you offer that, like, right off the bat, like, next week? Why not tomorrow I have free at 10 or 2? Usually because I feel like I need to give them options because I don't want them to feel like, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm trying to push them to do it right away. But I basically say, oh, you know, but they usually, usually what they say is like, oh, I got time tomorrow. So it always ends up being them saying I got time tomorrow. Yeah, you know? so, so, so the, the theory behind it is that, yeah, you want to give them options. Always give them options and you never want to ask. So leads are handled. There's a right way to handle them and there's a wrong way to handle them, right? So, and, and, and they're all handled the same, bro their leads so they still got to convert so you do the appointment because you got to you got to do the uh the quote right so you got to go there physically so that's fine but you, you normally always try to make yourself not available first of all that 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 creates uh, psychologically like you know this guy's you know book he doesn't have yeah you know he's real good so he keeps busy so you give him two options so tomorrow i have either this or that you know and if it doesn't work for them, then you, you can open up, you know, two, three to more days or something, you know, at the most. Um, but you want to push for urgency, you know? Yeah, no, well, big, fuck, I didn't see her leave, so I hit her up one day after. Because it went to junk mail, she emailed me. I tried calling her, didn't answer, tried texting, didn't answer. I emailed her back, and then she finally answered. So, and I just basically, this is what I told her through text. I was like, do you have time this weekend for me to stop by and we can go over some options for your yard? She's like, yes, I'll be home both days this week. Just let me know what time works best. I'm like, the Sunday at 11 a.m. sound good? So, I mean, look, it looks like I'm busy, right? So it's not like I said, oh, I'll meet up with you today or, hey, I'll meet up with you tomorrow. No, I'm meeting her up two days later. On those, the, so that's basically called a discovery call, right? When you get a lead and you do that call, and then blah, blah, you do a discovery call. Do you do you find out anything about what you're getting into or no? Yeah, I do. Your objective should be knowing, like, uh, an overview of what they kind of want, so you could take, you know, materials to pre be prepared to be shown shit, you know, maybe possibly. Um, also, you want to be able to figure out if they have ever done anything like this in the past, what they like, why aren't they going back to the other person that they already worked with, so you don't fuck it up, you know, because they already don't like that shit. If you can get that information from them, boom, you're like two steps ahead. Oh yeah, absolutely, man, and uh, sometimes I just, you know, kind of, you know, ask them, you know, do you, do you know, you know, how much this would cost you, you know, are you, do you kind of have an idea of what it would cost, and they're like, oh, kind of, not really, this and that, and then I'll be like, well, you know, I'm not, you know, I'll be like, well, um, fuck, I'm trying to turn right now, fuck, hold up. <laughs> yeah, when I was doing the high ticket closing, bro, like, I, I, I literally had to figure out before the end of the discovery call, how much money they had. And honestly, like you said, it's they're selling courses to whoever the fuck wants to pay it. And we're selling it the same course. We'll sell it to different people for whatever the fuck we figure out they can pay. Yeah. And basically what I'll, I basically say is like, okay, um, you know, so you want to redo your front yard and your backyard. You know, I can give you multiple different options just depending on your budget. You know? 
So I ask them that, you know. So I don't just say like, oh, how much money do you have? You know, I don't want them to think that I just want to get money out of them. I just be like, well, we can go over some options, you know, depending on your budget. Perfect. Sounds good. Sounds about right. No, no bueno. Did you know you had call center skills, or did it just you thought it was just for whatever you're doing? Nah, dude, I, I never, I never had a call center job, bro, and I never really talked to people. I was always a fucking introvert. I never was an extrovert. So, um, I mean, I'm still an introvert, but the reading books and shit helped me out a little bit, you know. And I had a, I did, I did cold calling and shit, and it made me realize, okay. Well, cold calling, it's like you're just trying to push them to get something. But when you have a warm lead, you can just talk to them like a normal person, you know? Yep. And then what I do, here's what I do. So I take that and I scale it. I'm the guy you go to for scalability. Oh, okay. So you can scale so you can get more leads, right? Yeah, so like if you came to me because like, hey Mario, I need help because you know I got this going on, and it's going really well, but I want to do better, you know. I I want to scale this. I want to be able to step back and, and I throw, you know, give my responsibilities, you know, delegate into people, build a team under me, and, and make sure it's just running autonomously, you know. Yeah, I may actually need help probably down the road bro somebody that can help me with the marketing because i'm good with taking the phone calls i'm good with doing the estimates in person you know what i mean but i can't do everything by myself if yeah I can, if i can get that um weight off my shoulder of having to worry about how to like target people and shit like that that would help too you know definitely definitely so the the digital marketing definitely can do it and then the warming up the lead for you basically you know like setting up that appointment you 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 want you want everything to be done so that all you have to do is go to the appointment and provide that quote yep exactly and sometimes bro like there'll be people you know i'll kind of be like you know so it depends how I feel, bro. If work is slow, sometimes I'll just be like, I'll give them a price right there and then because I kind of get an idea of what it costs. And then they say, oh, it's, you know, it's kind of too expensive. I'll be like, okay, well, you know, let's work something out. I mean, let's figure out, you know, a price range that might work for you. And I'll tell you if it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, I can go a little leaning with you, but I can't go too much. But I'm willing to help you, you know? Yep. So... You're basically a closer, bro. You do what I do. But right now you're doing it all. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> it gets stressful, dude, because I'm doing everything, you know? Exactly. So you're you're you already have something that works. Like you, you when what you showed me today, you already have something that works, bro. Your next part here is scaling it. Leaving your niche area your geography area and expanding to you know the world is yours you know basically and then also delegating the tasks that have to be done delegating the uh, advertisement and the, the ad spent delegating who gets uh, those leads and who's responsible for them to uh, convert them into appointments and then you do in the closing and then once you have that structure 100% down with a basic group then you can multiply that structure and then eventually hire closers basically more people that are going to go do your job and go over there and they'll get a commission and then that's when it becomes uh, like automated and it's now just a passive you know Dude, absolutely, man. Once you start scaling like that, and you got closures, you got people that are doing the marketing for you. It just—it's basically the all, all it's up to you is to basically make sure nobody fucks up the brand, you know. Yep. And everybody does good work. 
and and, and the first thing you want to do is you never want to throw it you want never want to release everything at once so first thing you want to do is the marketing get somebody to do the marketing for you and step off of that and now you're catching the leads setting your appointments and going to your appointments and doing the closing great then you're going to let go of the the setting and then you're going to let go of the closing you know step by step just in case something fucks up you can like oh well, hell no give it back When I have people like like I've spoken to a bunch of people like yourself and stuff, you know, that have you know some going on like that, and then they're like just trying to rush into it and trying to like just like get it's like you can't it's not a get rich shit, man. It's 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 lots of hard work. It's just that's what success is. It's hard work that pays the fuck off, you know. But it's not gonna be overnight. Process. Exactly. And automations, man, they, they need they need fucking workflows like no other, you know. Like you have to have workflows and um times do I have to tell you to slow down? metrics and everything that's tied down to it, otherwise you can't measure it. I'm out of gas, I just noticed that. Bro, the freaking uh the railroad tracks, you know when the slow the down. lever comes down, it wasn't even down and I kept trying to drive because I thought I had time and it fucking and then, like, an invisible wall just fucking made me hit, and I got, like, 30% damage. Oh, yeah. As soon as that thing starts moving, you can't cross it no more. It wasn't even moving, bro. It was just blinking. Oh, well, something like that. Yeah, I crashed into it while the arrows are the, the... The woods are still fucking down up, so I'm sorry. Well, the arms are still down, uh, still up. I, I fucking done the same thing. Though so I hear that going, gong, ding, 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 like, I just stopped. Yeah, there's, there's times that I waste a lot of time, though, with a bunch of leads, man, because there's always people that just, they're just like, oh, I can't afford, you know, oh, you're, 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 you're too expensive, or they just ghost me. It's like, you know, but the problem is, is that I'm giving them a good price. And for me to go lower, I can't do it. So I just let them go, you know. Are you above market rates or are you on the market rates or below market rates? Keep left. People that are below market rates, man. I was basically leveled out with the market rates but there's a lot of people right now okay they're not working right now because it's winter and there's people that spend their money like stupid you know but i save my money smart but there's people that spend their money and they're like they're they're bidding the jobs too low and then you know you trying to get the job it's like eh. but most of those jobs are not skilled you know, some jobs I just do roof cleanings or window cleaning or pressure washing, you know what I mean? Or like junk removal, you don't need skills for that shit. So those jobs are kind of like a 50-50 eh, chance of, you know, somebody else is gonna, you know, price it out cheaper than you and they might just get the job. But usually when it's a big job, it's easier for me to close because I have uh, ad before and afters. And I can show them that and I bring a pamphlet, I show them the book of like all the different types of stones and shit and they can see it and they can see the work I've done, you know? So those, that, that's a difference because not everybody can do that, you know? How much are you spending on ad spend right now, bro? Yeah, right now I'm only spending like five bucks here and there. What about when, when you're in the season? When I'm during the season, man, I'm spending like, I spend like 300 bucks a month, getting like an ROI of like, 20 to 50. Normally when I when I do marketing for somebody they they leave like a they're told that the they want about a thousand dollars ad spend for Facebook and then we charge like you know 500 or 800 depending on what you need done right like if you have a website or not then if you don't have a website you need a website to be built so or a landing page or something you know so Depending on what you already have, basically. 
but it's like the setup fee and then you have the ad spend right you gotta you gotta cover the ad spend we're just basically monitoring it and testing it to make sure that it's it's it runs properly yeah i used to try to do that shit but bro i don't know if you know you know who sam evans was So basically he had, um, he made a course about selling that shit, digital marketing. Bro, and I was trying to close fucking $2,000 deals in the beginning, like I was trying to get, yeah, bro. <laughs> People were just like, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no. Like you couldn't close, you couldn't close people? Nah, bro, nobody wanted that. Nobody wanted the digital marketing shit. So I ended up just becoming a contractor, and that shit worked out even better. Man, what was your, what, what, what was your, um, scripting? Like, what, 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 what method did you use? Like, what method did you use to, to close? I used the fucking, um, I used a script, which was stupid. I should have just done this shit myself. Yeah, that's fucking... Yeah, yeah. So, you were using the wrong method, that's why, man. So, I, I use uh, the objection is close, man. It's the seven buying beliefs. Well, I mean... Some businesses are for everybody, bro. Everybody does different shit, you know? Like, the contractor side. I like it. I enjoy it. It's cool. Sometimes it's a little stressful when you have to do everything yourself, you know? Yeah. Pretty much just figuring out what works for you and then go all in, you know? Solar. Little solar panels. That shit, I mean, that shit seems kind of easy to close, though, because that shit, you're basically giving it to them. You know what I mean? They're, like, free, you know, so it's, like... People have a fucked up mindset of solar, though. They don't fucking want to sit down with you. The hard part is getting that appointment. Once you're presenting, it's it's a done deal, man. Um, it's... We have, like, a 70% close ratio if you get to present. The problem is, like, if you do an appointment setting, for example, you're calling cold leads, you're getting hung up left and right. Nobody wants to fucking know, get pitched solar now. They don't believe in it. And then once you, like, sneak it in on them, like, like the way we do, and then you tell them, you're like, so the program that we found available for you that would be a no cost would be, a, you know, the no cost uh, solar program. And they're like, ah, oh, shit. They, like, try to run and shit. <laughs> Um, but it's nothing like you've ever heard back before, you know, it, it's something completely different. It just started this year. Um, and it's actually the first time that, you know, we'll actually put the system on your roof where you don't have to do anything. You don't, you won't have to pay anything out of pocket. You don't have to make any payments for the equipment to us or anything like that. Uh, run your credit card. Nothing like that. All we do is just a soft credit check just to see that you're not a, uh, high risk, uh, you know, customer. That's it. But if you if you would have told them that from right from the beginning, they they would have fucking said, nah, fuck you. I don't want solar. Fuck no, I don't like them. They're ugly. <laughs> like you want? I don't understand the benefits. They just kind of like react to like the call. They're just like, oh, I'm getting a soliciting call. I don't want to hear it. You, you remember vapes, right? When vapes came out, vapes, they were they made a campaign against them and shit. And then you've asked people like, oh, vapes kill. Bitch, cigarettes kill too. <laughs> but it's like they, they just had that one bad experience and shit. And, and like, because, yeah, people did die from vaping and shit, you know? But I... Oh, I'm like almost a hundred percent sure that these idiots that die from vaping probably mixed in their own fucking liquids and shit. 
Oh yeah, dude, hundred percent. I've been vaping for years, bro. I mean, I'm fine. And they've done studies, you know. They they yeah, vape does does harm to you, but it's ninety percent less harm than tobacco. Oh yeah, tobacco's way worse. It's it's facts. Ninety percent less damage to your lungs than smoking cigarettes. That shit just makes your fucking lungs look black and shit. I think with, with vape, though, I'm not too sure, but I believe that it does sleep like uh, liquid in them, you know? It shouldn't if it's a good, if it's, you know, was made properly and it's certified liquid and, you know, does that because it's regulated now, so as long as it's the regulated shit, it should be okay. But. Like I, 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 even though I vape, right now I don't have a vape. I, I, I lost them. All. I don't know what the fuck happened to them. But um, I've always vaped and smoked. But of course, when I'm when I'm vaping and smoking, like I smoke a lot less, you know, because of the vape. Because of the vape, and what I'm trying to get at is every morning when I wake up and I start vaping. I'm like coughing up all the tar from the cigarette, bro. Like it helps eliminate the fucking nasty shit that the tobacco leaves. Yeah, absolutely, man. You don't stink. And every time you would like smoke a cigarette, bro, that shit makes your face, your skin feel nasty. I'm out of gas, bro. I forgot to put gas again. On the side of the road. Yeah, I'm calling the refuel company. <laughs> All right, we're back in business. I got an hour and 19 minutes left. Good shit. What time is it for you in... Mexico time. It's 5.30 right now. PM or AM? AM. Oh, shit. Mexico and the U.S. have the same time zones, man. I, we go to from Pacific, which is over in TJ, all the way to Central Time, all, you know, which is Monterrey, Mexico City, and, you know, Cancun. Yeah. What time do you usually wake up? So, I'm off the weekends. I don't do anything on the weekends, so... I normally go to sleep around 1 or 2 in the morning, and I wake up around 10, 11 a.m. Oh, shit. Okay. Turn left. But today, I just did playing because I was fucking with my trailer and shit. So, you've been playing this shit for like a month? Yeah, I'm, uh, I bought the computer like the beginning of December, and I got the game like two days later. Oh shit! Okay, what made you get the game? You just watch YouTube videos of it or some shit? So I've tried to play this game before, but I've never had a computer that would run it. And then I got the computer, and the first thing I did was try to get Call of Duty on here by installing parallels but I just couldn't get it to work it would download it would try to run and then it just wouldn't turn on and shit so I think I just didn't configure the parallels right the virtual you know Windows PC version of it I didn't I don't think I configured it right so I was like I was pissed off and shit and but that's through Steam and then on Steam I saw the game and I was like oh shit okay so that's like Call of Duty is a Windows only game Right, so it doesn't run on Mac, but you can run it on a Mac if you get Parallels, because that that just makes like a virtual machine inside of your Mac. Um, so then I saw this, and then this runs right off of the Mac. It doesn't need a virtual computer. So I'm like, ah, oh, sure, well, let me get this. I've been trying to play that for a while too. And it was really cheap, like 60 pesos just for the base game. That's like 
350. Oh, I know. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. <laughs> so I got the game and then uh, I liked it. So I got and I was trying to play. Everybody had all these DLCs and I didn't. So everybody like just kind of, you know, just did my routes and shit. And I was like, that's fucked up. Let me go ahead and get these games. Let me get the DLC so they don't have to like. So that I can go anywhere they can, you know? Yeah. And then it just became that, and now I'm in the middle of trying to fucking get a cigarette wheel and shit. I got, I, I got a really good offer on Facebook Market, but it's just in another fucking city and shit. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out how, how to fucking go about that. Yeah, it's a mission to get over there, huh? I mean, it just, uh, if I would have, it's like two and a half hours, I think, away. So, I don't have a car to drive out there, like, from here. And so, going on a bus, it would, it, then you're just lost what you're making, you're, you're, you're saving on it, you know? The, the great offer that I got. Yeah. It's like 2300 pesos, right? For the steering wheel, the three, the clutch, brake, and gas pedal, um, and the shifter. So, all three things for like 2300 pesos, which is about $150. You know? That's a fucking deal. I, I spent 300 bucks just on that shit. Yeah, so that's what that's how it is. Like, it, it's used, but it looks really good condition. Like in the box, like they still have the box and everything, and it still has shit on there. You know, like the little stickers and shit, the covers. Yeah. The problem is how to get it. You know, um, trying to see like people here in these cities, they they kind of travel a lot. So I'm trying to see like if they know anybody that's coming up. You know, this way. It's basically he's further south, two and a half hours further south from me. I'm Ghost. five and a half hours from Nogales, so these guys are like eight hours away from Nogales. So because people travel up to the to the border a lot, you know, I'm kind of hoping like I can get this guy to come up this way and we can meet or something, you know. But there's no reason for me to drive down there. Or I'm thinking next week I might go down for for my birthday down to Sinaloa, see my kids and everything. So that might work as a me taking a trip down south and I could go by there. But I don't know if he's still gonna have it, you know. Yeah. And I just don't trust them enough, you know, like, I don't know who the fuck this guy is for me to just pay for it and put it on a, you know, packaging and shit, you know? Well, doesn't oh, pay, yeah. does it, doesn't PayPal, like, if Where I were to pay, right now? I'm dropping off my shipment, but if I do it through PayPal, like, if I tell them, like, hey, let me pay you through PayPal, doesn't PayPal do, a, like, a guarantee on that shit? Like, they're, like, a broker? Uh, it's a pain in the ass, bro. Like, I would pay, I would, I would make the payment to PayPal, and then he would send the proof to PayPal that he shipped it. When I receive it, they will confirm with me, did you receive it? And if, you know, I say, yeah, and it works perfect, boom, they release the payment or something like that, don't they? It's true, yeah, they do, yep. The, the problem is I just don't want to get screwed that I just never get anything, you know? Yeah, you don't want a chance at that shit, mate. Right on time. Finished. Damn, I only made 442,000. They took 331 off because of the 10% damage. But I leveled up half of a bar. I'm from going from 61 to 62, and if you split that in 10 segments, I need. I was like around four, and I went up five, so I'm still need just one more little 
section to get to the 60, level 62. To level 25. I'm at 15 right now. Time taken. 64 game hours. I started around 11 p.m., bro, and it's 5 a.m. Where you at? What time did you start? I think it started around 11. I sent a let me see. I sent a picture to this WhatsApp group. Jeez. Nah, my bad. No, no. I started, so I sent a picture at 110, and I had 41.25 hours, right? And so that's, it's four hours. I did four hours. How are you getting the $700,000 loads? I don't even see any of those. So remember, I have three trailers that should only have the the low boys. You only uh, only has one, maximum one. I had three connection to me, so it was they're they're, they're practically loads that are two hundred and thirty k, and I had three of them. Ah, uh, okay. Looking for a load. Well, shit, if I'm in my own shit and then I get three trailers, fuck, I'd be making like. If I got the I same shit, I'd probably make like two million off one fucking load. You don't know how to do that, huh? Do what? Get the loads, the, the trailer. I have to level up. Well, let's level up. Okay. I got a haircut tomorrow at 11. Man, I heard, like, your house is popping off. Like, I heard a lot of people talking in the background earlier. Oh, yeah. I got the kids. They're all playing games. <laughs> they stay up all night with you? Let's go pick up our next load. It's a short it's a short trip just to get you leveled up. Alright. Bro, how, how come um what's his name server you could do mods, but you're saying that you can't do it in this one? What's whose server you can do mods? Uh, what's that whole name again? The one that we were playing with earlier? Right. And then turn right. uh, how do you know you can do mods? We, we weren't in that ser his server though. And his that other server didn't allow mods either. Really? Because I remember the other day I was in his server and it, and, it, and it did the mods. Turn right. You played with that guy for more, more than one time? Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, I guess it depends on the mods that you have, but you gotta have every single mod the same exact one, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, I th earlier I was trying to get into his session. Like, he made a session, and I was trying to, like, log in there. He had, like, seven mods. Some of them were outdated. Like, I, it sent me to a link, and the link said, that it was no good. What the fuck? It's telling me to bust a bitch. Ah, oh, shit. The load is picked up in the same place I just dropped it off at, bro. I'm 
gonna grab some gas. Repair shop at. Here where I'm at. Come this way, it's just down the down the block. Come and just put filling a gas tank or the diesel. Also a good place to spawn with the trailer because it has a long ass backyard. Whoa, I didn't see you behind me. Here in the city, yeah. Here, no. I was just repairing my car, my truck. Now let's pick up my track, my trailer. It got repaired and everything, and I wasn't even. It wasn't even attached. I just left it parked in the middle of the road and shit. <laughs> Backing up traffic and shit. Go straight. Got a fucking train horn. I can't remember what what truck has a stupid ass horn like beep like what the fuck probably mine <laughs> do it keep left and then turn left I can't hear it I'll do it right now ah oh, shit never mind so I'll do it Damn, we didn't even push it out at the air like Bro, don't even don't even do that shit again. <laughs> yeah, just crash people man. Don't 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 honk at them man. <laughs> I don't wanna embarrass myself, huh? Yeah, it's crazy. That's 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 sad. I'm gonna upgrade my truck and get a better one after I get to level twenty five. What level you at? It's hard to maneuver this thing, bro. We're you, here. you do the turns and that the the, the, the weight is coming pushing you forward. So you 
do the turn and it just keeps turning and shit like it's just basically pushing you forward. <laughs> There's a corn harvester that's 210 pounds, bro. I think that's already tripled because of what I'm doing, I think. Yeah. There's going to be 210,000 pounds. Pedal to the metal. Fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. Ah, oh, shit, my thing's stuck. Going to the repair shop so that it stops doing that. Okay. Oh. Finding new route. What happened? Where'd you go? To the repair shop. So, like, I needed to because where I appeared there, there wasn't enough space for the trailer, so it basically started going haywire. And so I just basically said, I need a tow truck and it's going to make me appear at the repair shop. And remember, I told you this repair shop is perfect for this because it's really long. I just appeared and I'm straight back. There's enough space. If I would have stayed there, it would have damaged my load. What's up? Do you like Discord better? Yo, can you hear me? Yo, can you hear me on Discord? Yo. You can't. You can't hear me. I think it's. What's going on? Well, last time I reset my phone and it worked. Hello, hello? Pull this load, bro. It's heavy as fuck. What was 14 hours? The one that I got is only an hour and 50 minutes. Do, do like like all you need to do is like two or three real quick ones and it will level you up fast <laughs> 
with the mod. Nah, but don't do that. Like, I think they should all give you a lot of money, though. Shouldn't they? Like, what's a, what's an hour one give you? Turn right. Like one that's do like one that's like one hour like mine. One for how many? You know how to filter, right? By price down? I don't need the mods. Like, I already... I already used it once... I'm sorry, I don't, I have that cut, you know, I'm still trying to hit that X for some reason. Um, for, I already used it at the beginning and I got like money and then I don't need mods anymore. Yeah, level up and get like 30 million. That's what's up. How long is it? Recomputing. Five hours? Six hours? Why? It's cheat code. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, it's not crazy though. It's just, it's it's a cheat code, you know. Like, but it's 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 good. You, you need it. I did it at the beginning. I, I like I I didn't level up this account. Like I leveled it up to like level 40, 40 and shit, and then then I took the mod off. And I only I, I only did like five trips on with the mod. I didn't do a shitload of trips with the mod, you know. Yep. Just like what you're trying to do. Keep right, and then turn right. Did you check out the um, the YouTube channel? I did. I don't think so, no. I got I got like shit of subscribers though. I got like 23k subscribers. Digital marketing. That's what's up. But like basically like I, since I'm always streaming like when I'm playing or try to, um, like I, I, I tell them like, hey, look at my screen, look at my screen, you know? When something cool happens or something. Right there you can see my how my interior looks now. I saw in the storm. This hall is he this hall is heavy though. Two 
Yep, they they make more money too as well, and they they experience. They're gonna level up to level ten as quick as quick as fuck too with the mod. Go straight. Yeah. Like right now, see, since I didn't crash, I didn't do anything bad, you know, and I and I repaired my truck right now two times already, and each time was like. 200 and some thousand but um i have i was i was at 2.5 and i'm at now at 3.4 million since the time i started playing with you million but it was all from loans I still owe like six million but I have like seven million credit right now no you, you I mean Loads are still going to be the same. I mean, the most that one single load gets to is like 200,000. But since you have so many workers, your bank is always in the millions, you know? Like, all of a sudden, you see like 10 jobs come through. Because I have 50-something workers, you know, that are finishing. I get, a, I get a little pop-up on the bottom, you know, a blue strip. I get one like every minute. They give you more, but you're not. I mean, it's 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 the same thing, bro. If you do little ones, because you're not trying to stay with that mod. If you do little ones, it's gonna level you up quicker. Like, it, like, if you look at it like by time, it's quicker. You know. You're going too fast. Am I crossing the border or something? Should look like I'm crossing the border. Man, I hit some fucking poles and shit. They're like making making me go through these thin ass fucking lanes. Yeah. Those are, those are really good because they're going to give you experience like no matter what. And every time you level up, you get to choose a new um, point, a skill point. So you want to put all the skill points on the high value and then also on all, all the top row ones. All the hazard hazardous ones and shit like that. Man, I think they're trying to get me to hop on a ferry, bro. I didn't know there was a ferry on here. I don't know if I'm a fit. Oh, I think I might. I think I might.
I hopped on. I got on. Oh! Yeah, and I, I had to like curl, curl up the trailer. Like I went forward and I backed it up so it curled up, and I went forward again and I, <laughs> until I got it. Oh man, I don't think I might be able to get out though. They left me like it turned into a corner. Look at my screen, bro. Look at my trailer is right now. It's stupid as fuck. That's not. Yeah. I have four sections. I think it was one minute left, bro. Yeah, that's, those are actually the easiest ones, bro. Because they give you the truck, everything, and they, you don't got to go get it. It just You just start driving. Okay, let's find a new route. Make a U-turn now. This thing's crazy. I just hit the repair shop to like take me to the repair shop and it put me in the middle of the ocean. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Please make a U-turn when possible. Finding new route. Never mind. I'll find a new route.
Let's do this. Drive safe. Make a U-turn now. What you mean? Grab like heavy loads that are short. You should. Okay, let's find a new route. Make a U-turn now.
Yeah, this load can't be taken. It's too fucking difficult. Yeah, because of the fucking size of the thing. Yeah, that's what I told myself, but... There's even a there's even a quadruple one that I can I can do ten fucking trailers back to back. I also like to put um, price per distance, and that basically gives you like the best paid ones um, for your time, right? Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna do one to McAllen. Ready to roll. Please make a U-turn when possible. Rerouting. What time is it? Where you're where you're at? Nine fifteen. Damn. That shit late as fuck. <laughs> Gotta wake up. What the fuck? Wake up. Wake up. It's the time of the Yesterday was payday, man. I got paid bank yesterday. Well, compared to, you know, what people make, you know. I made um, $1,200 this week. It's like basically what people make if they're over there, you know. And some people don't even make that. I was there in 2007. I was making fucking $10 an hour and shit. Eight, that's 80 bucks a day. Huh? Yeah, I was like 18, 19. Yeah. I didn't even know I was Mexican, bro. Then turn left. For real, I came to TJ one time, bro, turn with left. all of my fucking friends and shit. I didn't even know. I wasn't supposed to. Get ready to turn left. Came down, went back up. Nothing ever fucking happened. You yeah? know? Like nothing. Like I owned a bitch. I mean, Turn I used to left. look like a fucking punk gangster and shit, you know? Spiky hair, diggies. 
turn right. Sagging my dickies and shit, so. It just, like, there was no doubt I was fucking, you know, from the States. Here we are. Them. Kind of on time. I think it's the, um. Just put money on there, and then there's, there's like money. There's a couple money ones that I use. The ones that I use are, are the ones on the main page once you go to the mods, you know, the workshop. They're like on that first page, bro. They're like the most popular ones. I, I, I can't remember, but it was like a, I was doing any load and shit, and it was like leveling me up, like per load. Are you parking it yourself? What the fuck? You get like fucking 45 just by parking it. Get on with it. Look, I'm, let me go check my routes. So if I look at my career and I go to my delivery log, that. The one I did from, you know, 40 hour one, that was 3,474,000, uh, 304, 3,000 and a half, 3.5 XP. The least one that it's given me, like, I'm out, there's a bunch of like 398, 324, 165. So it doesn't seem like that thing's giving you any XP boost. Because even if it was small, if you got 65 XP, like, what the fuck? That's, that's not even what I get. Look, let me try to see which one's like, see, this one was 64 hours, 9 hours, 10, 7, 4, 3. I'm trying to see if I have any, any like, really, really small one. Like a three hour one's giving me 126. Uh, here's another three hour one. This one gave me 224. A two hour and 40 minute one gave me 115. But the ones that give me the most are diesel. Ah, anything, anything can give you the most. Because here's a milk one. It gave me 1,200. Here's a road roller, 1,200. Roots, 1,300. Buttermilk, 1,300. Fertilizer, 1,500. And then stamp stumper, 3,400. Limestone. Yeah, so it's basically anything. It's giving me fucking experience. So experience, I think it comes from like not crashing and you know turning it in good, and then um, parking it. A big load, you mean long? Like, let me see when I search. Doesn't doesn't it tell you what, how much XP it's gonna give you? Da, 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 da. Let's see, freight market. <laughs> like, what symbol does it have on there? Like, you know how there's like arrows and stars and Wait. Um, you already grabbed the load, or you have it. So click on the load on the menu. When you go to the menu, the, there's like a box, like on the upper left-hand corner. There's a box of that shows your load details. You click on it, and it opens it up. Mm-hmm. 
No, 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 no. Main menu, main menu. Don't click on anything. Right off of the main menu, as soon as you go in there. Right, without clicking anywhere, right on where you see the truck floating right there in front of your screen, on the upper left-hand corner, you'll see your job description. Click on it. And then go into full screen. And then on the left, now it moves over to the show. So it's now showing you the map on the left side and the load on the right side. Uh, it's going to give you the, the top, the time, then the name of the load, and then there's little symbols on the upper right hand corner. Right? Right? And standard delivery. So I, I have articulate. Right, which means it's just like you know, double, 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 triple, or something like that. Then it's a heavy, heavy cargo. I have high value cargo and priority delivery. So I have four, four things. Like because it has the more that it has, and the higher quality it has, like high, like yours is standard, so it doesn't give you anything extra. So um, high priority or fragile or something like that. That gives you more experience. Yeah, when you get when you get a load, just make sure it has like the most variety. You know, like hyper, like you got a star, so that's already that's gonna give you lots more XP. So the, the, just do. How long is that route? Well, you got a big ass engine, right? Go for it. Let's see. What time is it? 6.24. I'm going to time you. Don't crash, though. Because it's going to take away money and experience. I have a seven and a half hour, and I drop down from three sections to two sections. Because it was Turn just right. way too fucking long. So this is going to give me $94,000. Keep right, and then turn right. But you're fucking right. I should be fucking playing with the mod. Nobody's in here anyways. Okay, so the experience one... That I was using. Let me send you a screenshot. Or a picture. Let me take a picture of it. I sent you a picture of the mod. I mean, I don't have it active, but that's the one I, I use. I just put on the mod for the Decepticons 
It gives me an 800 horsepower fucking motor. Yeah. This one load's gonna give me now ten million. <laughs> Ninety four thousand now it's gonna give me ten million. I I end I ended I went back when you said that, I went back and I put the XP thing on there. <laughs> it's because I don't know I I don't ever play by myself. I always play on convoy, so I, I haven't really used the mods anymore, you know? Time to hit the road. Keep right, and then turn right. How fast? Thinking right now. That should give you good experience. Yeah, that's that's exactly how fast I'm gonna go right now too. Yeah, I just gotta get to the trailer so I can swap my engine out. I mean, to the to the repair shop. That'd be kind of reckless, though. Everybody having 800 horsepower? That should be crazy. I think it, I think it would get old quick, though. Like. Like I think I, I don't know I got I think people don't get bored when they when they when they play like by the rules. I think they get bored when it's like you're just wrecking and wrecking and wrecking and wrecking. And it's like gosh, I mean I'm not making no money. Go straight. Keep right and then turn right. You're only what? How far were you when you when we started? Come on, there's a job to do. Nah. You'll be done in like no time. And then turn left. Turn left. Recomputing. Let's get this Damn. job done. That should be crazy. What happened? What happened? I think I missed the mod because that shit didn't work. I don't have more truck. I'm logging out, going back in, trying to see what mod I missed. Ah, oh, here it is. Yep. My bad. It goes hand in hand with that one. I got a mission today. I gotta get laid. No. <laughs> Uh, 
let's see. Okay, so now truck dealer. There we go. Accessory mod, Peter build, customized configuration. Boom, boom, boom. Damn. I don't know if you can still look over my screen, but it's shit fucking badass now. want that one and then here so there's a lowered version steer long eight eight by f steer long lowered lowered and then there's that one eight by eight by four eight by four This shit looks crazy weird. Uh, let's see. And these engines are crazy. It it opens up all the engines, bro. Like, I have all the Detroit Diesel series. And then I have all the Caterpillars. I have all the Packards. The Cummins N14-600 chipped. 27 NMs. Wow. I think so. There's an 815 horsepower engine in here, man. That's what you have right now? Yeah. Nah, but the, the 300 horsepower, it doesn't, it doesn't show up on this list. Celtic, cell, select, select plus chipped. What the fuck does Cummins infinite chipped. What does chip mean? N14 plus seven hundred and twenty horsepower. Seven hundred and fifty eight hundred and forty horsepower one. I found an eight hundred and forty one. Wow, it gives me all these cabins. Ooh, look at this fancy cabin. Nice. What is? Dang, look at this fucking, look at this car. Look at this truck, man.
Oh, yes. Switch, switch over to mine. Did you find it? Loud ass cat outside, man. <laughs> Getting fucked or something. <laughs> Loud, bro. At least somebody gained some action and shit. Yeah, sure some real pussy, not some fake pussy, though.
Nigel Pardo. That should be good too. All that it has a bunch of combinations, so that's good. Three billion already? God damn. Let me see. God damn! All right, you're done. You're 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 good with the money now. Yeah. You got a fast engine.
Man, four hours ago. Uh huh. Uh, full speed as long as I had enough space to pick up speed. My truck looking badass, bro.
Why'd you make it crash? Yep, I get that. No, I'm still building my truck, bro. Yeah.
She has so many fucking options. <clears throat> All right. Purchase, drop it off right here. And then give it to me. All right, take it out. I'm about to start driving it. <laughs> Ready to watch? See this? Yeah. You see my bullhorns on the top in the front? Look at my interior lights. Yeah. Nah. Damn, my shit rubs up to like 3,000. Look how fast I'm going. Look at my, look at the front of this shit. Ah. <laughs> the back, the back lights are crazy too. Look. You see that? Decepticons. I can't hear nothing though. No, like the audio fucked up. I have to reset the game.
It shouldn't have cut off the stream, right? Because I was sharing my my entire screen, right? I was on WhatsApp earlier, fucking too. I fucking forgot. And I was like, damn it, I shouldn't have fucking done that. People watching. You're gonna level it's leveling you up now? Yeah. With my mod or which one? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's what's up. Send me something. Damn, one hundred and forty-eight k. I think that's that's the one I did. So hey, so you, now you can join my now you can join my server, server right? Yeah. Like everything is on block now, right? Yeah. All right, let me open up my server again and just co just copy my mod. Yeah, that's that's what I did, and just copy my mods so you can have the Decepticons. You're going to right now with with this mod. No, no, no. Join my server and then buy the truck. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go pee. Hang on, I want to drive my truck first. Did it let you copy my mods? Wow, I can't move. Okay, let's find a new route. Hey, what? It didn't let you? All right. What do you mean? Got, what do you mean? I thought you already got to go to fucking work. I mean, got to go get a haircut already.
Isn't it nine something already? And you gotta go to haircut at eleven. Oh. Yeah. Hey, listen, li li listen to that shit. Listen to that shit. Yeah. Vape breathers. You see them on the on the on the on the front. They look like vapes. That thing's crazy, right? Go straight. Whoa. Is it letting you or no? like nothing. Where am I? 
and it's a badass load too so go to the convoy go to the main menu go to the top banner and then click on Sinaloa and then select my name my load and then just uh, take the same job view and take the same job it says <laughs> oh yeah, yeah yeah never mind go to the so go to the dealer on your menu truck dealer and then there's gonna be an option that says mods dot mods dealer said you have a, a garage manager at the bottom filters and put uh, garages for sale or something. Load, I'd be doing 120 right now. The 
thing is that it didn't take me much at all effort to get to like 90, 90 miles per hour. You know? Transmission? What the fuck is a 30 transmission? I've never used a 30 gear transmission. Where's that at? I've never used it. Yeah, an 18. It gives me more control when trying to shift. Because I have so many gears, like I don't have no stuck, like in between gears to get that where I get stuck on, you know, with no power. I can just downshift and I'll be powered up again. Gas tank, you have like a 3,000 gallon gas tank? Does it use up your gas or no? Because I put a 3,000 gallon tank one time, it took me five minutes to fill it up. For real. Feel like like five minutes to fill up the fucking tank, like like real minutes. Yeah, no, I never did. I never had to refill it again, dude. I'm only doing 50 miles an hour. What the fuck? Select the select the dealer and go to the online. But first, you gotta. S yeah. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, don't even look. Finding new routes. I wasn't even going fast. I was doing like 80 on a curve. That's it. Yeah, I don't understand how you don't flip at 3,000 horsepower.
Let's try a different engine. I'm gonna fuck on my shit. Go to truck manager and select it. Got the contract, now go.
kind of transmission do you like? The, the higher, the more gen numbers, or what? The more gears? They go faster with less gears or what? How many less? Like literally like six speed or what? Fastness. Finding Three thousand horsepower, route. or just any other engine. I mean, I am carrying two fucking fat ass fucking machineries and shit. Yeah, bro. You, you finished your truck already or what? Come over to where I'm at so we can I can see it. What you mean is basic? Outside, follow the trailer. Come on, there's a job to do. Ready? Tell me when to go. I'll, I'll, I'll let you go. Go ahead. You start and then I go. Six 
here. That's it. I can't go faster because of the maxed out on six gear. So six gear does not work on this truck. And let's go back to the shop, push F7. Last one. I'm going to switch my gearbox though. Yeah, that was whack. <laughs> I'm going to put my 18 speed back on there. It's just, yeah, that shit's sick. Eighteen speed. Time to get the job done. Son of a bitch, it doesn't want to. Let's get in front of the cars. Line it up right here. One, two, three. I stopped right on the line. What's up? I hit the emergency brake. Hey, do, do, do my lights flash it? Do, do my lights like blind you or no? Watch. There? Alright. Alright, cool, bro. Talk to you later.